happened everyone in the previous video we have talked about the important formulas from the topic center of moles and also we have discussed about the theorems of moment of inertia and some constant formulas for some defined shape bodies okay now we will be talking about the comparison between the linear and rotation motion if you see this like uh, once you start studying by comparing the difference it will be really easier for you to memorize the formula so let's start with it if you see the velocity of the linear motion will be v equal to ds by dt in case of angular momentum it will be denoted by omega and it will be equal to d theta by dt so the first difference we can see here is in the linear motion the velocity is denoted by v but in rotational motion it will be denoted by omega and also we can note that in place of s in the rotational motion it is uh, denoted by theta okay this is the basic difference for the velocity and now if we talk about acceleration a equal to dv by dt here the ac angular acceleration will be denoted by alpha so here we are differentiating velocity so it is dv by dt so here what will be then the velocity is denoted by omega right so here it is d omega by dt this is how you have to compare and study so there is no need to memorize also by just practicing you will get to know what formulas you have to use and for force it is force equal to mass into acceleration here it is torque q and it is denoted by i into alpha okay to talk about the work done it is force into distance here it is torque q into theta and to talk about the linear kinetic energy it is e equal to half mv square in rotational kinetic energy which is equal to half i omega square and this we already discussed in the topic of inertia also now to talk about the power it is force into velocity so here it is it will be torque into omega which is nothing but the angular velocity and to talk about the linear momentum it is equal to m into v here it will be i equal to omega like even if you know the linear motion okay all the formulas of the linear motion you can you can easily substitute the values here for the rotation motion say in this case if it is m into v you should substitute by i into omega okay now to talk about the last formula which is impulse which is nothing but the change in momentum f into delta t equal to mv minus mu so what you will be doing instead of f you will be substituting torque and delta t will be not changing so delta t and instead of m we will be changing it as i and instead of v it is the omega f that is final angular velocity and it is minus i am sorry here it is minus i equal to i minus uh, initial omega that is angular velocity so this is the basic formulas for the linear and rotation motion even if you have if you know all the formulas for the linear motion you can easily use it for the rotation motion so kindly note it down and read it it will be helpful for you for solving many problems in different kind of physics chapters next chapter we will be seeing the important formula for some uh, rolling motions